So today we are going to see about Appearance HRM Open Source Management Tool. So I am going to show show you a step by step procedure for uh, deploying Docker container for Appearance HRM tool. Now for that um, I have uh, my own repository. So you can clone from here to your local system. Repository I am having Docker and Docker Compose file. So that uh, we can easily deploy our Appearance HRM management tool. From here I can clone my repository so and I am moving to my local drive so already I have created one folder in inside that uh, I am cloning my repository cheat clone and paste the link which we are copied from there so it start downloading from the cloud to my local drive then I am moving I am opening that uh, code in my visual studio by using the command code space dot so that I can view the codes in Visual Studio and I can edit it. It will be very easy for me to handle the codes. So we have two files. One is Docker and Docker Compose. So in Docker Compose, we can see the port numbers, volumes, where it was mapped. So I have mapped in var folder, which will be useful for loading our logs and DB data. Whenever the container was stopped or crashed, we can retain the data from our local hard drive whenever the container was recreated it will take all the uh, which data was already available or stored so we don't want to lose any data the folders are already created by me which was a uh, mapping to my dogger and we need to give write access for the folder which was created which was created for that i'm using this command with that uh, we need to add the path where the folder was available I am going to add the path in which path we need to go right axis while the container was creating it will automatically create the folder inside the uh, log folders for this path I am giving right axis so already I have given so if you are uh, first time you are creating just press on enter so that it will create it will give right axis to the folders Next, so we can open that terminal in Visual Studio Code. The same where we already used. Type here also. Both are terminals only. For my convenient, I am opening in Visual Studio Code. We can move inside the folder, and if you are giving list, we can see the same file which we are, we are seeing in the Visual Studio Code. From there, we can go. Docker Compose command which was given in my readme file. So you can copy the command from here. So in my video I forgot to add sudo. I am using Linux so Linux machine so I am adding sudo in front of it. You can use in Visual Studio code also or otherwise in the terminal also we can use. Both are same only. Asking system password you can give your system password and it was immediately created the containers but uh, for you it will take some time to clone the copy the images from the cl cloud but for me already it was done so successfully it is created immediately now i am logging the container what's happening inside to see what's happening inside first of all i am logging the uh, hrm orange hrm container so there you can see the steps which was happened successfully it was created and the port number was created and it was successfully connected to the db so it shows that our uh, tool was our container was running successfully now i am with the local host i am able to connect my containers friends i showed you the successful deploying the local source uh, HRM orange HRM tool there I have given username and password in my readme file you can copy and paste it so that it is your HRM tool is ready so you can manage your attendance and uh, employment details everything in this HRM tool very easily if you need uh, those videos how to configure those Content means let me know in my in the comment section so that I can do one more video
HRM tool. But this is completely installation video by using Docker how to install this uh, Orange HRM tool I have detailed in, in this video. And the final edited code which was running successfully was uploaded in my cloud. So yeah, I added the sudo command also in Docker Compose file and I upload it in my cloud. So you can use this uh, GitHub repository code for successful creating of uh, Orange HRM open source tool. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, give a like to this video. So it will be helpful for me to upload more videos in the DevOps area. Now I am check our uh, logs and uh, data whether it was stored in local drive so that it will be useful for when our container was crashing we can retain our old data, login details, everything. So as said it was there. So we don't want to worry about uh, maybe anything happening for our containers suddenly. Thanks for watching Adhis Thakwal Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.